The, the glasses are staying? Yeah, the glasses are staying. Well, yesterday we were hanging out. The interview started just so you know. Okay. All right. But you and I were hanging out and you didn't have those glasses. Yeah, because I couldn't find them. Couldn't, are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Is that a thing? Yeah, that was a thing. Okay. So you didn't have the glasses, and we're talking, and then you showed up, and you got glasses all of a sudden. Then I was like, hey, you're going to maybe be a pilot. That's something like one yeah. of Right now, you're in the recruiting process. Yep. What has the recruiting process been like for you? Because you're a really good student. What's your GPA? Uh, it's 3.1. 3.1, but you got a good test score too. Yeah, I got 26 on my ACT. So you're a pretty smart guy. Yep. Other people may disagree with that statement I just made, but yes. you are, you're a good student and pretty smart guy. Yes. Okay, three times state champion in South Dakota. Yep. Um, what is, you know, Legends of Gold, you've been here since the, the beginning. Yeah, uh, I came to my first camp the fall of the year they started. Okay, so you've been here from the, the ground level, you go to Beresford High School. Yes. Okay. Um, what has this place done for you? What would you say, like, the most important development has been for you know Dakota Gold. When I first came here, with everything, uh, like I was, I would like to say I was a good average wrestler, but Coach Pack and all the coaches on staff here really kind of just guided me and fixed everything that I was doing right and kind of just kept moving along, moving along. I was, you know, I moved down here and I lived with Coach Pack when I was in eighth grade, and. A month after I moved down, I wrestled my first tournament because I broke my leg, and I wrestled my first tournament in like three, four months, and I was a, I was an All American at Folkstone Nationals, and then I kept going, and when Contos came in this year, he really elevated my wrestling to a whole new level. How? Oh. Just getting in and having that one-on-one -on -one time with him, working in with him every single day. You know, with him living here and me living in town, I can come out here. That's what's so great about this facility. I can come out here whenever I want, and I can be here all the time. It's always open for me. And so Contos and I, we just schedule our workout. We go in, we drill, we hard drill every, almost every day, and we just get in, go, and he fixes stuff as we're going, and it's just really, really beneficial to my wrestling, and I really enjoy it. So you got a guy like Contest who's your size because yeah. you're like 138, 132. Yeah. What are you college? 141, 143, yeah. 141. Yeah. Maybe eventually 149, maybe. Yeah, I want to start at 41 and see where that goes. I want to get on a big lifting program so get some strength to me. When, so you're in the process right now. Like I know a lot of D ones. It sounds like you're gonna go to a D one. Yeah. Um and. I know that Arizona State is somewhere that you're you're definitely looking. The academies yep. are all the academies on the board. No, just it's just Air Force because I want to fly. So. You want to fly? Yep. Okay. Um, in the process, what 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 do you want to get out of the school? I want to go to a school where I know that I can surround myself with other guys who are motivated because you're you can do everything on your own, but there comes a certain time where you need the guys around you be with you on that and there's nothing more that I like when I'm around certain people and I know that I want to be somewhere and they want to be in the exact same place some camaraderie I guess yeah uh, looking at you know those two you know we said Air Force Arizona State sounds like you're gonna be going west are there any other schools have you looked in the, anywhere in the east yeah in Big Ten what, what is the other options we need to talk uh, about well I'll, next month I'll be going out east coast I'll be going to Campbell with Coach Colat and Santos, and then I'll be going out to Buffalo. Okay. Nutsman? Yeah. You know, it's Nutsman. It's not Stutsman. It's Nutsman. He's crazy, right? Yeah, He's one of my favorites. He's a good guy. Yeah. And so Campbell, Buffalo, where else? Um, and then I really enjoy Nebraska. You know, I've come down there a couple times for other camps and such, and just really enjoy the facilities and all the coaches and all the guys on the team. I know them pretty good. So five years ago when you started here, could you have pictured yourself going to a D1 school and, and being a guy who potentially could go to an academy or an Arizona State? Could you have pictured that five years ago? No, that was, that was a dream of mine. I always had a dream to wrestle Division One, And now that I'm here, it's not a dream. It's I want to be a Division One national champion. What's a, Okay, so the biggest development here, would you, you know, Contos has been huge for you. Yeah. What else would you say is like an intangible that, you know, Legends of Gold has that maybe some other camp systems don't have? It's really a personal experience. You know, I 
Coach Pack's like a second dad to me. I know him very well, and he, I can, you can just be yourself here. And it's unlike any other camp I've ever been to because there's not that many guys here. There's even if you're not in the lights out, lights out's 22 guys. But even before that, I came. I've been to every single intensive camp that we've done here, and there's only 60, 70 guys in there. But everybody gets to know each other, and the coaches are really actually devoted into helping you become a better wrestler. They want to see you do good. So I talk to people out west and like on the west coast, Oregon, Washington, Idaho, California, and there's travel is a big thing. You yeah. guys got to travel a lot more than everybody else. Yeah. Um, being from South Dakota, are you guys at a disadvantage with all the travel and how how rural it is and how far everything away is? Is that are you at a disadvantage? I mean, we're pretty like centered down, like so we're right close on the border of Iowa. So like we can go into Iowa, we can go anywhere else. Minnesota? Yeah. You're not can, far from Minnesota? No. But you can corner of Minnesota is about an hour away. So you can be in the Twin Cities in three? Yeah, three hours from here. Fargo three? Fargo's three and a half. Yeah, so it's like it's it's yeah. But is it a, you know what I mean? Like when it's rural, there's not like a big population center. Whereas Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh, yeah. Pennsylvania, they gotta go ten minutes away to get you know if they could be the defending state champ. And there's a guy the next town over who can beat you. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's that that's a benefit. I don't really think that's a disadvantage because if you want to be good, you're gonna do what's necessary to be good. You're gonna drive that extra miles or helmet, whatever you need to do. Now me, I'm lucky because I live right here in town, and I drive two miles out here, and I'm here all day, so it doesn't really affect me very much. Why do they give you so much? Why do you, does everybody give you such a hard time and says you're not very smart? Because you're actually really intelligent. I used to be very not common sense smart when I first got here. Okay. That's another thing, Coach Beck, and everybody here is. I've learned a lot of common sense, and I was I never really did anything hands-on. Were you, were you hand gullible? Work. Were you like, yes. anything someone told you to believe? Yeah. I did a lot of hands-on work when I started here, too. So wow. now I know how to do my hands. You're a lot smarter guy than people give you credit for. <laughs> okay. I'm pretty impressed. You got anything else for me? Nope. Hey, thanks for the time. Good luck. Thank you. Let us know when you make the announcement so we can make a big deal out of it, right? right? Sounds good. When will we know when you commit? This fall. This fall? Yep. You'll commit early? Before season starts, everyone. I'm excited. Good luck on winning the four state title. Thank you.